he don't talk to me. About the only time he do sit still is when he's sleepy. He won't cut the grass nor pull the weeds. Won't even give his son the quality time that he needs. He's always going on about how he's so caring and sincere. But it only looked like that to me when he's sipping on that damn beer. He goes on about how he's so trustworthy and he wonders why I sneer. When in the same breath he'll stand there and marvel at another woman's rear. Getting him to do housework is like getting him to go to church. He stands there looking at me all crazy and berserk, dragging his tail, but not before doing quite a bit of mumbling first. He's lazy and he's stupid and he thinks only of himself. He wonders why I won't sleep with him and swears there must be someone else. I mean, is that torn wife beater really supposed to get me in the mood? (laughs) Of course it's a rhetorical question. For... I dare not be rude. But his former foreplay is looking at himself naked in the mirror, grabbing his crotch and looking rather crude. (laughs) I think that some member must have made a mistake of actually telling this fool that he looked sexy in the nude. He's loud and he's obnoxious, always embarrassing me in front of guests. He's hard-headed and narrow-minded and never cleans up his own mess. You know... Someone once told me that misery loves company. But it's hard for me to imagine that I was more miserable than this when I was lonely. They say a woman's biological clock starts ticking at 30. Well, I was only 25 when we wed. So what the hell was wrong with me? He treats his underwear like his very best friend. Aww. Turning to them. Over and over and over again. You think he invented the wheel or something. Always asking me to pull his thumb. Now there's a catch. (laughs) Ladies, can you fault me for thinking that he was the one tells the same stupid joke at every party thinks that shit is cute let me remind him that it's a special occasion and just like clockwork boom he strips right down to his birthday suit all this so I can have the honor and privilege of saying those six words when I go out at night and paint the town red with Barbara and Roxanne when the music turns slow and the prospects get low I can say (laughs) I'm going home to my man yes ladies and gentlemen that damn man (laughs) 